वेल माई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वेलकम टू रिस्क मैनेजमेंट नाउ वॉट इज रिस्क सी अवर लाइफ आर फुल ऑफ रिस्क द सेकेंड वी लीव अवर बेड्स वी आर एट रिस्क वी डोंट नो वॉट इज गोइंग टू हैपन वेल दो वी इवन वेन वी आर स्लीपिंग वी आर एट रिस्क दैट एनी थिंग कुड हैपन बट जस्ट थिंक दैट वेन वी आर टेकिंग सम एक्शंस all actions are full of risk we don't know what is going to happen when we will be taking our cars out when we will be walking on the roads when we will be flying in the plane what is going to happen so our lives are full of risk the risk is what it's a future uncertain event which could have a positive or negative impact on the project outcome so because we are doing a project management so everything that we will be looking with that we will have we have in our lives we have to see in the context of the project management so when we are talking of the risk same is the case something which is going to negatively or positively impact and it is a future uncertain event because it is beyond our control we don't know when it is going to happen although we could forecast but we still don't have a control over it so from launching the pro from the project which is a big initiative risk in itself we don't know whether we would able to succeed or not although might be we have been doing some things from years and years and years but still we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow our future is ambiguous are we do we are we do not know what is going to happen tomorrow yes based on the history we may forecast but it's, it's uh, but it's still it is a forecast so risk is an external event to our project that can affect its execution that can affect any objective that can delay any task that can even impact as a project on a whole so what things that could affect my project and the results i would like to know so at least i know that okay if rain is going to happen what i am going to do if the person is not available then what what would i would be doing if a stakeholder is not supporting that what is the response i need to know my risk i need to at least exp at least have some expectation that what could happen on my project this is what risk management is we will be working on identification that what is going to happen and in our small knowledge in our knowledge of in our knowledge of future which is obviously not there based on our risky i would like to know what is going to be an impact so this is the few uh, risk that we are looking at so risk risk are inherent to all project and it is very important to understand regarding a risk that we cannot eliminate the risk we cannot eliminate the risk that the car is not going to hit unfortunately god forbid we cannot eliminate the risk that while we are walking on the pedestrian somebody will not going to hit all what we could do is to minimize it we cannot eliminate it from the from the uh, from the core we will minimize it we will take it to a level where we will see okay yes that makes sense to us and we can take that risk so this is called risk profiling or risk persona or how or a residual risk that we are okay to take with so risk is something which we needs to be identified from the beginning of the project and it is a proactive activity you need to know from the beginning which is a project charter that what are what could impact our projects managing risk means helping stakeholders to understand the nature of the project that is the because if a project is of complex nature it is it depends it has a direct impact on the lives of the human it has a direct, it has a lot of stakeholders then the complex structure will be completely changed it projects has a complete different uh, uh, risk structure help it will our task when we are doing managing managing the risk is helping the team member to defining the strengths and weaknesses because strengths is something that we would like to play on weaknesses is something that could be our threads i would i don't want to if i know my weakness i can actually make sure that that area is covered it will help integrate the project resources and help prioritizing the resources and effort through risk management we are trying to planning for unknown something we don't know when it is going to happen but at least we would like to have in indicators or trigger points or at least have an idea that what could go wrong with our project 
So we will be, we want to remain in control of the project rather than we become an ad hoc manager and something is going to control us. So we would like to plan for unknown. We would like to know what is an unknown. So the objective of risk management is to increase the probability or an impact of the positive risk events and decrease the probability and impact of the negative risk events in order to optimize the chances of project success. So the whole objective is to make sure that the baby that we have start, the baby that we have, a project initiative, a thing that we have in our hand that we need to take to the success, we will save it from the unknown. We will save it something from the negative events so that things cannot be played out against us. Things so that we will deliver the project objective that we have planned and promised in the beginning. So this is where I conclude my discussion on the introduction of the risk management and then obviously we will go into the details. See you in the next section. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.